You are so wrong about Cardano right now. If you think that Cardano is just a dead coin that's not really going to do anything in this bull market, well guys, you're completely wrong and you're doing things the wrong way. And I'm going to show you exactly how crypto bull markets move and why Cardano is starting to set up for what could be the most exciting year, potentially two years you have ever seen for this cryptocurrency. So do me a favor, hit that like button and let's dive into today's content. So what we can see on the Cardano chart, guys, is the price trending towards the downside. And many people will believe that it's going to continue to slump lower. But if you were subscribed to my channel, which you absolutely should be, then I would have showed you Crypto Panic the other day, which is a really cool free website that you can use. Link down below. Uh, where you can come and see all of the latest news that's happening. What also super cool about this website is it gives us the trending coins. And I covered this in an XRP video I made a couple of days ago, where we saw XRP was trending. And then after that video, it went up like six, 7%. So all the news arrived and then suddenly everyone else, the traffic arrived, okay? You need to beat the traffic. If you wanna get in, you need to be the one who's selling to the traffic. So you can use sites like this, and I'm telling you all the time, tools that you can use if you subscribe to this channel on how we can beat the traffic and sell to the people who are willing to buy later on, rather than being the person who's buying the big bags from other people who've just made the money. Easy, okay? Insider info. Right, so loads of stuff going on. Cardano clearly trending right now. Very exciting. Why is it trending? Well, guys, this news article here, total value locked on the blockchain surges 300%. Is that legitimate? Let's check it out. Come across to DeFiLlama.com. We can see that the total value locked in Cardano right now is 171 million. And um, as this price chart moves, we can see that we're seeing more and more value being locked into Cardano right now. Wow. More value being locked into the ecosystem stabilizes the price. It then means that when we have the opportunity to move up because Bitcoin and everything else starts to surge towards the upside, then we will see the likes of Cardano and other coins that have a good amount of liquidity locked, moving harder and more aggressively, more quickly, because they've got a better launch pad to spring off. Also, jumping across the other news, Cardano mainnet receives new smart contract toolset deployment. This tweet here, Marlo goes live. Now that Marlo has been audited and deploying on the Cardano mainnet, early adopters can begin exploring and testing Marlo's high assurance capabilities. Cardano is a technical project. There's loads of detailed stuff on what Cardano does and how it really runs available on YouTube. If you want to know more, go and look at those guys. I'm looking at this specifically from a point of view of an investor. I know that right now we're seeing more development happening in Cardano than pretty much any other of the blockchains in the top sort of 10 uh, to top 20 cryptos. That's very exciting because you might not be that excited about it as an individual investor, but big money will be looking at this and will be analyzing what it really means for the growth of the project. We also can see this, Cardano's commercial arm, Emergo breaks down CIP 1694, a bullish future for ADA holders. Uh, coming down CIP 1694 is a significant stride towards realizing the vision of a decentralized blockchain. Uh, it is crucial component in shaping Cardano's future and is viewed as a major upgrade in the Cardano community. Loads of upgrade and stuff going on. Loads of wallets starting to gear. Lots of hardware wallets being built around the Cardano ecosystem. So many exciting things. And this is just building the narrative, okay? I know that there's gonna be some really techie guys in the comments nailing me for not delving into the details fully. Guys, I'm not a techie guy, okay? I understand I miss a lot. Sorry about that. I understand the base of what's going on in Cardano, but I understand more the narrative that is building and the news flow that's coming out about this. And I know as well, when we jump across the price chart, why this is so exciting. But before we jump across the price chart, I just want to give a shout out to Jake Gordon Crypto, also making some sick content right now, guys. So make sure you go and give him a sub. He is covering some of the best altcoins about and giving us some real value. And he shared this information on his Twitter page, okay, which has me very excited. I have covered this before on the channel, uh, but I thank him for reminding me about how important this is. There is phases of a market. Now, if you were to anticipate where we were in the market, and I'll show you where I think we are right now in the crypto market, then you'll understand that first of all, you're going to get the big money flowing into the big market coins first, the Bitcoins, the Ethereums. Now here it's got Ethereum phase two, but I think Ethereum is a phase one coin now, okay? It's mainstream, people know about it. And the reason it's a phase one coin and the reason these coins grow quickest first is because the big money invests into those first. And also everyone who's newly onboarding into crypto, who's never heard of anything else other than Bitcoin and Ethereum, 
will onboard into those first. CNBC and BBC News and all of the major news outlets around the world will cover Bitcoin and Ethereum's growth on their channels. Bloomberg, right? They're not going to be shouting out Jasmine Coin or Gala Gaming. They might do later on. But right now, we want to be looking at these coins to be making money before we flood into the other areas of the market. But the large caps, money will flow into these afterwards. I actually think there's a lot of big money that's already been flowing into Bitcoin and Ethereum. And as you can see from the value locked, large cap money, we're now looking at phase three. We're now looking at Ada, Cardano and other coins like that. So this is the Wall Street cheat sheet. You know I love this thing, guys. It shows us the market cycle. Uh, and if you look at Solana, which is a classic large cap altcoin, which we saw in the last bull market, you'll see where it basically I think we are looking at that chart. And it shows that we have been pretty much through the majority of the phases of this market. And we might be coming out of the sort of depression phase into the disbelief phase. I think disbelief is in the streets right now. You got half the people existing in the hope phase. You got half the people saying that they're waiting for Bitcoin to go to 9K. Uh, I think we're in disbelief, which means we might see a little bit more of a dip. But from there, we're going to be moving into an aggressive bull market. And it's going to happen so much quicker than you can even imagine. Trust me, guys. This is why right now the smart money is accumulating. The dumb money is just panic selling on the little dips that we've had recently. So what have we got looking at this Cardano chart? Well, just before I analyze this and show you exactly why I think Cardano is looking super hot right now. Let's look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is now showing us something very interesting that is going on in the markets. If you've ever traded Forex, foreign exchange, you will understand that it's a $7 trillion a day market, okay? $7 trillion a day are flowing through that. All the biggest banks and everyone in the world who's trying to trade with money and trying to make big money trades that market. They all play games because they're all pretty smart and there's only a few ways that you can trick people, okay? Uh, I've seen a bit of that coming into Bitcoin uh, right now, and that shows us the big money is in the game. You want to see what you want to see what a dirty trick looks like. We get the double top here. It comes down here. Everyone thinks we're going lower for another part of the bear market, and then it just rips and see you later up like 40% in just a few days. Then we can see what has happened. It's sliding towards the downside. People are getting bored. The big money wants you to get bored, guys. The big money wants you to think this is going to happen, and it might do but I actually don't think it's going to happen. Why I know, though, that we weren't going to break here was something I talked about in my Inner Circle Telegram. Now, the Inner Circle is just $9.99 per month. All of the tools and everything I'm talking about on this channel every day, guys, will give you automatic uploads and updates coming in through the Discord server, which is being set up today. I promise it's going to get launched today. But you can get into the Inner Circle through going through the free Telegram link down below, guys. It's a five-day free trial. There's some experts working in there pretty much 24-7 because of different time zones. Any questions you've got about crypto, what you should be buying right now, what you should be selling, it's covered in that Telegram. So make sure you get into it, guys. Go to the free Telegram link down below and then ask for the Inner Circle. Right, I talked about this the other day in there, guys. What we can see on the Bitcoin chart uh, was what represents liquidity. Now, here is where the big money pushes the price back into an area it wants to buy at. Now, what usually happens before a spike in the other direction is we get an area we move below like this. You can see it happened here, okay? You can see it happened here. Uh, and this indicates to me that it wasn't ready. I think Bitcoin is gonna take a little spike down. It could happen like this, and then I think it's gonna aggressively move. I actually think the real buy zone exists for Bitcoin uh, at this level, okay? I think the buy zone sits here somewhere around 24k okay give or take a thousand dollars okay so if that happens what do we know about this for cardano well we know that cardano sits in that large cap category so we know that it's going to go if bitcoin and ethereum start to rally so then cardano will do it as well and because it's got all that value locked things are looking positive for cardano so where does cardano's buy zone sit well what we can do is we can draw an area that sits here now, i do see it before everyone tells me i do see this happen right we did have a big drop below uh, but what we can see is another area of interest and i've drawn this green box why is it an area of interest well look at what happens every time we were in this zone we get rallies out of it rallies out of it so it tells me that this is a price that big money's buying at but when big money can't fill its bags at the price it wants to pay it has to wait for the price to decline back into the area and then it buys again you can see it happens four times one, two, three, four times, yeah? And now what we've got is an apex between this area where the market is falling into this zone and soon, in the next like four or five days perhaps, 
Cardano is going to be made to make a decision. Now, would it drop lower? If Bitcoin is to drop lower, then Cardano will drop into this zone. So what I'll do is I'll set an alert here with a right click. I'll add an alert. All right. Bye. Cardano. And guess what's going to happen? On my phone, I'll get a notification telling me to buy Cardano. I can unemotionally go in to my favorite exchange and I can buy Cardano. Straightforward, hey? Or if I'm not that patient, have I got a good price to buy Cardano out right now? Well, let's take a look. I know this is a zone at which Cardano interacts with and often gets bored up when it arrives in here. Do I know that it's going to stop in this area? Absolutely not. But do I know that this is a much better price than buying up here? Absolutely, I do. I can see that it is down since then, what, 20%. So I've got an opportunity here to buy before a potential breakout. If Cardano breaks beyond this zone, which I think it could well do, then I've got an opportunity, you know, from here right now, of taking 4 or 5% before it even gets out of that zone. If I was identifying the buy zone before, which you would have done if you were in my inner circle, then you would have been buying here, and then you would already be up 7 or 8% before even seeing a breakout. Which means that when we get up into this area up here, this recent high, you're up 31% rather than buying from the breakout where you'll be up, uh, you'll be up like 19%. Makes a big difference, especially when we go to where Cardano can get to in the future. So let's look at the bigger picture because I know that's what everyone wants, guys. Cardano back to all-time highs, 7.2x. And you're like, that is not very exciting. I've been looking at Hello Token. I've been looking at Gala. I've been looking at HBAR. Uh, Jasmine that's got like 100x. All of those coins do have the potential to see insane gains, but I've just showed you the way that money flows into a crypto market, right? So that means that these coins like ADA, like Solana, like Doge, maybe, like Ethereum, Bitcoin, will all surge before those coins. So I can put money into like Cardano and that first. Then what I can do is once they boom towards the upside, I can take profits out and move that money into more degenerate coins that might see bigger gains. So what I could say, for example, if I put in $1,000 to Cardano, I'm not saying this is financial advice. I'm not telling you to do it, guys. If you go and pull the trigger and then you get sad at me because Cardano drops 20%, I don't care, okay? It's your own problem. You need to take responsibility. I'm saying right now, Cardano is in a good buy zone as far as I'm concerned. With my money, I don't... You need to look after yourself, okay? man up so what we'd say if we had a thousand dollars here and it pushed up here and did seven thousand dollars now i'm not saying that i just sit there with my thousand dollars in and wait for a seven x what i'm saying is i put a thousand dollars in if it two x is then i've got a spare thousand dollars i can leave a thousand dollars in like here and then i can take a thousand dollars and i can invest into let's say 10 other coins with a hundred dollars each into the likes of jasmine into the likes of hbar that might do 50x might do 100x if one of those hundred dollars does 100x, then I make $10,000. Maybe if I'm doing it with bigger money, then I can, and not only that, I still have exposure with $1,000 in Cardano. You see, in my opinion, you don't use the big caps for anything other than creating you more capital to invest in other coins, because you should just be growing the bag. Because ultimately, later on down the line, when the bull market's on, you don't want to be investing money that's coming out of your savings, that's coming out of your earnings. You should be using the money that you've made in this part of the market. And don't get me wrong, you're in an absolutely luxurious time in the market right now to be making some great gains. So suffer now, guys. Try and get as much money in the game as you can right now. Obviously not financial advice. And then you've got the opportunity to grow that bag while maintaining the other money you've got for rainy day funds. Therefore, if crypto then does this and comes back down, then you're not sad because you've not been investing money at the top. What most people do is they invest all their savings at the top that they've got here and then they lose all their savings. Whereas if you're investing your savings here, then you can invest your savings, grow your savings and then still make other savings along the way that you can buy houses or cars or, you know, and new puppies or, you know, fancy cats or whatever it is you buy. OK, then you've got less fear, emotional damage. And I talked about emotional damage in this video yesterday. And if you're new to crypto, I absolutely must insist you watch this. Now, Cardano, in my opinion, is going to go beyond all-time highs. I think the growth curve, we're going to be looking to awards at least $7. That would see something like a 14x, up to around $10, if that's even possible, which it could be later down into next year. I don't think we're going to see it this year. Then you've got like 23x or something. Can't do the maths right this second. But an insane amount of growth coming for Cardano. Give yourself exposure, keep exposure, take profits off, put the profits into other coins. That's how you make money in crypto. Super easy, guys. 
no brainer you're in at the right time stop getting upset about these daily tiny fluctuations right now because you need to prepare yourself for the massive face melting fluctuations that are going to come in just a few months time maybe next year let's see hope you enjoyed that guys hit the like button if you're new to the channel subscribe if you want to leave an angry comment leave an angry comment see you in the next one Bye bye